So what if someone took your S282 and said, you know what? I don't want it to be a 282 anymore. I want it to be a 440. <laughs> oh, this brings such joy to me. What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and today we're not playing Daryl Valley Career. No, we're doing a mod showcase. We used to do these all the time before simulator update. Uh, but this is uh, this is too good to pass up. We're still gonna keep playing Career Vanilla, of course, but uh, this is the S282 Rearranged mod. Link is in the description. Uh, and as well, I've got a tutorial on how to install mods, so you can check that out if you don't know how. But what this mod does is it allows you to change the S282 into a whole bunch of different wheel arrangements. Just, you know, a whole, a whole smattering of things. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a lot of options. <laughs> so, there's your normal S282. Uh, it's fine, right? And then you could, oh, it's a 280 now. Okay, uh, an 082? Why not? How about a 10-wheeler? 10-wheeler doesn't look half bad. Look at that. So, this mod is super fun. It's developed by Satiric, and... The fun thing is, in its present version, not only does it change the scale of the wheels for the different wheel arrangements, but that also affects the adhesion, it affects the top speed, it affects the tractive effort, so you can experience what these different wheel arrangements are like in DRL Valley. The, the mod notes show that any locomotive with four drivers get 82 inch drive wheels. So that's six foot 10. Uh, a little over two meters. <laughs> the six drivered engines. Let's grab one of those, like the like a Pacific. Six drivered engines have 72 inch drive wheels. The high speed 282, which is the same as the normal 282, but except with bigger drivers, has 67 inch drivers. And then anything with 12 drive wheels has 48 inch drivers. Because yes. You can even do a Union Pacific 4122 in this mod. <laughs> the the part of the four is uh, right in the cylinders, and that wouldn't work in real life. But it's fine. We'll ignore that. It's great. So this just takes the stock to S282 and stretches and changes things. So you'll note that the valve gear is uh, turned off, and that's for good reason. Uh, because the valve gear starts to look real cursed with the way this is uh, procedurally scaled and everything. But oh my goodness, this is so much fun. So you can take the wheels, make them bigger or smaller, add more or less, and so you really get all these different flavors of steam engines. So we're going to try a couple of them out. We're going to do the, the two extremes, I think, here. So I'm going to grab ourselves a, uh, a 440, I think. Now let's you know let's 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 show it off first. Uh, I'm looking at the table that uh, Satiric has given. 444 has really bad factor of adhesion, 3.55. It's actually the worst factor of adhesion, which means that it's probably the most likely to slip. So let's uh, let's put the coal in the hole, get this thing lit off, and uh, see about switching some coal around. We're here at the coal mine today because I figured this would be a great place with the steep grade out of the coal mine to try and run a heavy tonnage train and, and see what happens. So I've picked up two of the jobs here. One's 400 tons, that's what we're coupled to, and one's 640 tons. So we'll be able to have a little bit more than a thousand tons uh, on the drawbar here. And uh, I think that's going to lead to some serious fun here. And of course we're playing sandbox, so I'm, I'm free to do all kinds of fun things. I can, I can go into third person view. I could, it's insane. Maybe I can go into third person. Maybe I have to be in an engine to do that. Well, I don't know. I don't get to play like this all that often. There we go. Yes. Look at this. Look, train. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I could use this mode all the time. Because what if, like, you could just, you can just do whatever. Photo mode. Yeah. Look, at look, it's easy to make YouTube thumbnails, guys. I don't have to position myself. I could just position the camera. I might have to enable this just for uh, my career playthrough because thumbnail's important. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, this is silly. This is very silly. Okay, 
Turning it off. Okay, back to our scheduled program here. Kapow. Uh, okay, uh, the coal got schlorped. Let's see how our pressure's coming up. It is. All right, well, we can probably go turn on some appliances. Get this thing going. Lubricator. Air boom. And dynamo is loud and annoying, so we'll just leave that off. Okay, that's all off. That's all off. Let's go. Come on, sweetheart. I guess we probably haven't pumped uh, pumped the train up enough yet. The power strokes are also super long now, too. Go. Go! <laughs> there it is right away. <laughs> Even with just the 400 tons on the drawbar, it's, uh, it's not too happy about that. Look at these big drivers turn, though. It's so much fun. Alright, that's probably good on that. Yeah, watching big wheels turn, very fun. It was one of my favorite things about seeing the 4449 and the 844 double head back in 2007 was watching the big boy equivalent of wheels go by, but they're all 80 inch drivers. So these are actually bigger than those were, which is hilarious. Okay, so we need to get past this switch right here and we'll pick up the rest of that. And then uh, we'll probably just play slip and slide the rest of the day with this thing. Let's set them up. Okay, that switch is lined. Let's line this switch. Okay, we'll back it up. <laughs> Come on. You got this, sweetheart. I guess I don't have to do this. I can do I can do this. And we can watch what happens from here. <laughs> yep. It's a slippery boy. A four 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 redding type. Yeah. Factor of adhesion 3.55. And remember that factor of adhesion is the tractive effort divided by the weight on drivers or the other way around i don't remember it's one of those two whichever of those makes the most sense i'm pretty sure it's actually the weight on drivers divided by the tractive effort because as tractive effort goes up it gets smaller yeah that one okay <laughs> yes we've thoroughly got it pissed off now so we can uh, close the dampers for now <laughs> as we've learned, thanks to our friend Leg Dig. <laughs> and we'll ride this thing to the shove, make the hook. Was that beautiful? Was it beautiful? Not quite. You know what? We don't have to put up with this. We're not playing career. We can just, we can just dunk. We can just bang into it. Come on. This thing really does not like to start things, as you'd expect. Alright, so I think that we just coupled that. Did we get it? I think we did. It's charging up the train, so... As soon as the brake pipe gets back up to 100, we'll be able to get out of here. Come on. Show us what you got. I'll also note that this thing has less tractive effort. So in pounds, it's got about 26,000 pounds of tractive effort. 
whereas the stock 282 has 37,000 or 38,000. So this has got like two thirds the power, but just based on the size of wheels. That's well, probably fine on the cylinder cocks. Uh, where is sand on this menu? There it is. <laughs> God, even with sand. Come on! Come on! You got it! You can do it! You can do it! Okay, you can leave it in this throttle notch, but you can't get any further than that. Okay, well this is just not buffing out, so you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna abandon ship. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna get something that's got a little bit more adhesion to it. So we're 444, but if we lose the trailing wheels, we're gonna get more weight on the drivers and our factor of adhesion goes up to 5.32. So now it should really, I could probably kick the sand off and open the throttle wide. Okay, so you still have to have the sand for it to be wide open, but. Okay, it turns out that like a thousand tons is really just not gonna buff. It's actually 1,040 tons for any of these little four-driver guys. It might try and go. Let's go turn those jobs uh, into the machine. Oh my god, I wish I could teleport like this all the time. Let's put these in here first. Just to get the clock tick in here. <laughs> Are you going to start? No, okay. So let's incrementally step up. If we go to a 460, we get more tractive effort. We're almost 30,000. Okay, still pretty good. Actually, even better adhesion, 5.61. Well, we want, we want to be able to start this thing. 080's got all the adhesion all day long. 7.27, all of the weight on the drivers. I, I have it wide open in forward, in full forward. And the 080 is just like, okay, cool. However, it still does not have the tractive effort we need. To get the tractive effort we need, we need smaller wheels. So let's let, let's go grab that 412.2. Let's uh, let's show, show the folks the whole point here. And the drivers immediately start to slip. Chill. Yeah, 4122, despite it ha having so many drivers, uh, still has a lot more power, so it is trying to contend with a little bit less. Oh, there's a handbrake on back here. That would explain a lot. Is there more than one handbrake on? Why are you shrieking? There's two handbrakes on. Why are there so many handbrakes on? Oh, because I clicked the handbrake icon on the UI because I'm a ding dong. Okay, well, you know, that helps. If you have th three handbrakes you're trying to pull through, turns out you need 44,000 pounds of tractive effort to get it going. But yeah, this thing, this thing doesn't care. But you know, you know me. You guys know me. We have places to be. <laughs> Just in instantaneously change uh, rhythm. Still got a lot of adhesion with the 440. We're gonna run without sand? No, we need sand. But we lost a lot of tractive effort getting these big wheels, so I don't know if this thing will make the hill with these. just looks so silly. <laughs> Rem recall that tractive effort is based on the boiler pressure, the size of the pistons, and then the size of the wheels. And the, the piston size is not being scaled in the model, but in the physics sim it is. 
because as these wheels are getting bigger, that stroke is getting longer. And so bigger wheels means less tractive effort, basically, because it's a, it's a ratio of the overall wheel size to the crank size. Bigger crank mean better, which is more stroke, but if as you increase the size of the wheel, you're fighting against the size of crank you have. And this thing is, I mean, it's holding a little bit, but it is slowing down. I don't, I'm not confident it's going to make the hill. I have to get my dynamo going on. Let's see. Let's go back to our normal 282. See how he's doing. Two eight two can do it. Nah, it's still slowing down a little bit too. All right. So let's, uh, yeah, let's let's just give ourselves everything. Let's go for the O twelve O. All of the weight on drivers. <laughs> God, it looks so silly that way. And we could kick the sand off with the O twelve O. The adhesion is six point two three, and it's got forty four thousand pounds of tractive effort. It just doesn't care. That's awesome. We are still slowing down, though. This is a heavy train. Let's double check and make sure we didn't click any brakes. Guess not. This is the most powerful thing we got. The estimated tonnage for uh, the 12 driver buddies is 12, 1283, and we've got 1040, but that might have been 1283 not on a grade. Oh, it's starting to slip as we get slow, so we'll turn the sand on. Come on. You just gonna slog it out at slow speed here? I believe in you, train. Come on. Might have to get more of a run at it. Yeah, because it's still on the hill. Even the 0 0120 is gonna stall out. This, this hill is, uh, some pretty serious business. All right. Let's roll it back down the mountain. Yeah, well, goodness, we really didn't make it far up the hill. Yeah, we're gonna have to get a run at it. This is the wheel arrangement, by the way, the 440 that I set the speed record with. Like 153 kilometers an hour, I wanna say. So let me know, post in the comments if you've beaten that, with derailments turned on, on the stock map. Wheels are barely spinning and we're doing 55. Let's roll the coal here. Oh, we're probably lined back into that switching track, so we should probably make an application here. So that we don't absolutely put the train everywhere. Gooder. Yeah, so if we back out to the end of the yard and then just send it, that ought to be the ticket.
Probably should have lined that switch so that we could have just gone straight through instead of through the, uh, the ladder, but it's fine. Oh, and this, this track doesn't run through. Oh god, I don't switch the coal mine all that often. So we can back up to the buffer and then call it a day. As you can see that, uh, there's a diamond crossover there, and that's it. So theoretically we could get a longer run if we started on the loop, but... That, uh, that loop doesn't get you much. Let's see. Watch the shove from over here. Let's, uh, just dump the air. Dump the air. Dump the air. Dump the air. Please stop. Please stop. Bang! There you go. <laughs> That'll do! <laughs> Turn that injector off. We got plenty of water in this thing. Okay. Coal in the hole. We're not making the time bonus on this today. Uh, yes, but we want to be able to get out of here nice and easy, so we're going to give ourselves that big accelerate boy. Because the, uh, the smaller your wheels, the faster you'll accelerate as well, because you can put down the power faster. So just walk away with the train. And that water is full, yes? Yes, it is. Get the dynamo turned on, I guess. Debating on whether to change it off of the O twelve O to get a little more speed. Because the O twelve O doesn't get much speed. It doesn't list a top speed, but if we change it to O ten O, get a little bit more driver size. That looks a bit more reasonable than the the O twelve O. Getting some good speed going now. Okay. And now we're on the grade. This is a good balance of power and speed, but it doesn't have as much power. So now that we're on the grade, I'm going to change it back. You can instantaneously hear how fast those drivers are going. And it is not going to increase speed at all. The O12O. Sounds like it's doing a million, but it's really just not. <laughs> okay, we lost a little speed. We're lo we've lost two kilometers an hour. Can we make it up the hill? We wouldn't have a chance at this with the normal S282. Nor the, nor the 440 or anything else. Come on, train! Slowly slowing down. We are losing a little bit of boiler pressure, too. Can we just goose the fire temp somehow blower on and everything I don't know if that's going to make a darn bit of difference or not I could bring the bar out of the corner I suppose but but where's the fun in that it's a balance between how much steam do we have and how much speed do we have come on I don't know where the end of the hill is. That's camera mode, that button, in case you were wondering. I was wondering if there was a, uh, a free cam. There probably is. Actually, I can probably just turn the camera off there, yeah. That's right. Alright, so we got 80 there, no grade change. Okay. 
It's a, it's a less of a grade if we can make it to there. But then it goes right back up, steep again. Yeah, this is the 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 climb. She's not failed yet. And with the cutoff back a little bit, we're, we're generating steam again. But we are slowly losing speed. And the water is getting awful low. Bring the injector on somewhat. Low water helps us generate steam, but uh, we don't want to blow this thing up as soon as we roll over the, uh, the crest of the grade here. And yeah, this thing is running with no sand. Oh, it's starting to slip, though. That was part of the problem. Okay. It wasn't really slipping, but you could see the grindy bits. So it was not applying all of its, uh, all the power it could be. Okay, I'm going to give it full cutoff now. Steam's come back up. Come on! I believe in you! Is this where it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit easier? Yeah, this is where it gets a little bit easier, so we can build your speed back up. Come on! Down to 13. It's just the slog. The big slog with an O twelve O. Most of my train's still on the grade is the problem. So the engine and a couple cars are off the steep part, but oh, we are getting a little more speed. But yeah, it goes right back up is the problem. This is just the, the brief little respite. Oh, the tw the twelve, <laughs> the uh, twelve uh, wheel ones uh, actually still have the valve gear, and it looks, uh, it's a little cursed. It's not as bad as the big ones. There's a setting to turn on the valve gear again for like the big driver engines and it's just goofy looking. All right, we are not maintaining water. So we're getting a little speed, so I'm gonna bring back the bar just a smidge. We're building that speed back up. God, that feels good. That, that's what I love about Dero Valley, especially Simulator with all these details that they've gotten so right. Like, it feels like you have to fight the engine a little bit, and you've got... It, it's not just pulling the stick and, and watching it go. You really have to be smart about how you approach things and, and uh, how you fix the situations you might create, he says, giggling about uh, how he plays the game. But there's a, a dynamicness to it. It's not just digital scenery simulator. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, most of the trains on the heavy part of the grade now. I mean, you could just instantaneously watch the speed disappear. But we're almost there, like this is the crest. Oh God, but it might stop. And the water's gone. That's not good. The engine must have crested over if the water's gone. What are the odds we blow it up, viewers? It's fine. We got the gun on full. Oh god, we're gonna tip over and go downhill. Okay, we got water back in the glass, but it's not gonna be there for long. <laughs> I think I can hear the spicy sounds. Yeah, the uh, the bad firebox sounds are happening. But we're just gonna pray. We're just it's not gonna happen, right? We've crested the hill. 
So if we're going downhill now and we've got this much water in the gauge, like, we saved it. It's fine. See, look, it's fine. It's fine. Promise. Promise it's fine. Okay, and bring that injector back. Now we're starting to give it some speed. Okay, well that means that we no longer need to be an 0 so now we've got places to be. We're gonna be a 4 6 Which is honestly a really nice looking engine still. Like, it feels pretty conceivable that it, that it would work as a locomotive. Alright, we're gonna kick that off all the way. We're gonna bring the cutoff way super far back up. fun just watching the big drivers turn all right we got minus 1.8 percent actually so we're gonna bring the water all the way on because we're gonna be going downhill and we get to be doing 60 all right let's see if the water just disappears not quite it definitely went down All right, well now we're just railroading. Watching these big wheels dance around is so cool. It's so different than watching the S282. We're now doing a little more than 60, so we'll just shut off. Shut the water off. And we'll get a little bit of a set going. Fine. And we got a 70 through here. Followed immediately by a 60 and a junction. Which junction is this? Oh, good God, I don't remember. We want to go to the right? To the right. Yeah. Let's go to the right. Okay, we can be doing 60, so we'll just kick that off. I assume we want to go to the right, yeah? I think that's correct. Let me pull up my map. Yes, we wanted to go to the right. So we're going to the steel mill. God, it's so much more fun to play in third person. <laughs> when we get out on the flats, we're gonna we're gonna increase the driver's size again. We got a 50 through here though. So we're just gonna pinch on some brake. Okay, and release it. And start pulling against it because we let it go too far. And then we got a 60 and the speed limit goes up. So beans, the beans. Watch my fire get ripped out the stack. Sure is a lot of deer all sounds for a 60, and we got an 80 through here now, so we're just gonna we're just gonna keep the power on. I like this 10 wheeler. <laughs> Alright, we're almost doing that 80. We're crossing over the uh, the place where we crossed ourselves, maybe? No, that's up ahead. Okay. All right, that's more than 80, so we'll shove up, shut off. And there's a 70 ahead of us, so we'll just leave the brake pipe dumped for a second. Please slow down. Please slow down. Please slow down. Alt mode is being very unhelpful right there, right now. As so we whiz through that 60 at 70, it's fine. Gonna hold that lap. No, we're not. We're just gonna dump it. We're gonna dump it some more. Oh yeah, the brakes. Okay. They're a little, a little sad, huh? It's a lot of weight. Okay. Well, we have other options here. <laughs> Full reverse. Full throttle, it's fine. As we pop out the tunnel. 
Okay, that vaguely got us back into, into shape here. All of the brakes are mad, so we're just gonna kick those off and let them cool down. <laughs> what can you see? The brake shoes, nothing else. Good lord. It's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. I don't know what our speed is anymore. It's probably still 40. Well, it's 80, but it's gonna go down. Okay. Well, we'll just let it coast. Let our brake shoes cool. Yeah, this is a this is a literal tons. Oh god, I've been wasting all of my sand this whole time. It's fine. Okay. Are we almost out of water in the tender? That's not great. It's fine. We don't we don't have uh, much more to do. He said, wasting fuel. Shut the dampers. Okay. <laughs> Blitz out the tunnel new. Could be in third person mode. The brake shoes are only glowing red instead of bright yellow. So, you know, that that's an improvement. Apparently. We do have another 40 though. Okay, I'm gonna try and just compression break it. No, that's not doing crap. Sorry, brakes. We hardly knew ye. Yeah, yes, I know, brakes, you're mad. God, it sounds like we're going so slow, but we're still doing 40. All right, kick the sand off now. That's a sharp curve. Look, I can make the Speedo read whatever I want. Seems fine. Brake shoes have almost cooled off. How, how much more of this hilly shenanigany nonsense do we need? At least a little bit more. Also, if it could not be nighttime, that would be great. I set up this, uh, this free mode to, uh, oh god, there's no water again. The fire temp's pretty low, though, so, I believe. It's fine. I believe. It's not gonna blow up. It's gonna be fine. Um, I set up this, this, uh, sandbox mode in such a way that I thought that it was not gonna have day-night cycle, so it'd be better for filming, and I apparently failed. Because it definitely is nighttime right now. Anyone else see what's going on? Because I can't. We'll make it around this curve. It's fine. Junction coming up. I don't know which way it's lined. It's right on the other side of this tunnel, which is very inconvenient. Uh, it's lined to the right. We want it to be lined to the left. We've got a 30 to the left. Just dump the air a little bit. It's fine. Just scrape around it going 10 over. Yes, brakes, we hear you. Sure do like to complain, those brake shoes. Okay. Will daytime ever come? No. No, it won't. Alright, the water's come back. 
Uh, we are, however, out in the tender now. So that's exciting. We really used a crap ton getting up that hill. So that's not ideal. We still have plenty of coal. We're going downhill and we have that much water in the glass. I think we'll be okay. Because it's going to be pretty much smooth going from here, more or less. Okay, we can be doing 60 for a little bit, so we'll get it up to kind of 60. Shut off. Check my map with the no cab lights. Okay, we're, we're right there, though. We can see that. Uh, it's downhill, and then it'll be level, and then it'll be uphill. So we don't, like, need to have a bunch of water anymore. Gotta pass that, and then that's the speedy section there. So when you get close to the speedy section, we'll, we'll turn ourselves into a 440 again. And for right now, we're just gonna try and conserve water. And I was wondering why I wasn't building much steam, and then I realized that the damper has still been shut. So, right. Gotta remember to open it, too. Where is that junction? It should be coming up. Gotta get a light bit of braking going, because we're doing a little bit more than the 60 that we're allotted at the moment. Okay, there we go. Okay, there's the junction symbol for the oil well. And as much as a fun I would, it would be to go and say hi to the boys, uh, it's probably not the world's best idea. Okay. Uh, mm, 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 mm. There's this. Okay, which way is the switch lined? It's lined to the right. Cool. And we can do 60 both ways. So we'll just get this thing cooking a little bit. Looks like our brake shoes are no longer glowing, which is nice. <laughs> so vibey and fun in the night with the big steam trail. You love to see it. All right, then there's going to be another junction straight away, also line to the right. Okay. Now we're gonna see how it goes here. Gonna give it a feed it a little bit more power. So we're not quite up to 60, and we, we're gonna want to be getting to it here. We could do the high speed 282 if we wanted to accelerate a little faster. So that's what I'm noticing right now is that uh, we're not accelerating terribly quick with this 10 wheeler because the wheels are so big. So I could change this to the 440, but it's gonna accelerate even slower is the thing. We'll have a higher top speed, but... I think for acceleration's sake, I think I'm gonna switch us over to the high speed 282. through there. Beans. Full beans. Full beans. Coal in the hole. Full beans. The high speed too. I mean, it's even got huge wheels too. Look at that. It said we could do 80 around this. Come on. Yeah, with, with this much tonnage behind us, we really just need the acceleration. The top speed, I mean, we're not going to have enough of a run to really make use of that 440 with this much tonnage behind it, which is, like, that's the whole thing about steam locomotives and how you pick which one to use. That's the whole thing. That's why you right-size every engine for whatever service it's going to be seeing. And we're getting low on water. We probably should have stopped and got some. We could dump the fire, or we could blow up the engine, or maybe it won't blow up, who knows. It's 
uh, let's just yeah, let's just dump the fire out, shall we? Let's make the fire go away. We don't need fire where we're going. We just need steam. Even the high speed 282. All right, no water. It's fine. We can relight the fire when we. Uh, I'll get it full of coal. We can relight it when we get on the hill. Or why is the fire temp coming back up? It relit itself. Don't do that. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. Not allowed. <laughs> not. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, I said it was not allowed. Well. On that bombshell, I guess it's time to end. <laughs> I wish it was daytime! See, so you could see the horror that just happened. Alright, now we get to play the horror game of walking around with a lighter looking at the blown up locomotive. <laughs> Do I not have... I have no other lanterns in this, this sandbox mode. Are you kidding me? Well, keys in the dirt then. Puh. Those are steam locomotive keys. So. Is there any way to change the daytime? Well, I tried some stuff. Um, I guess I'll be the, uh, the MVP and I will wait for it to become daytime so that we can look at the wreckage. Ah, yes. And the beautiful dawn chorus sounds across the valley to reveal quite the mess. <laughs> it's uh it's fine the last car has stayed on the tracks and i guess technically this car is still on it's fine the rest of it uh not so much We, we blew up our high speed to it too. <laughs> Anyways, guys, give the mod a look in the description. Links in the description, of course. And then I'll also be linking to my how to install mods for Dural Valley. Now that they've uh, redone Unity Mod Manager and everything, that is what uh, Dural Valley still uses. So I know it was harder to mod the beginning of Simulator, but uh, now it should be nice and easy. So make sure you click those links, check it out. And huge thanks to Satiric. This is one of the most fun mods made for this game. So. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll catch y'all next time.